The Anti-Defamation League conducts yearly surveys of hate and harassment incidents across the country for adult and teenage online multiplayer gaming. Recent data shows a spike in harassment and anti-Semitic hate speech in online gaming platforms. Suji Nam joins us here in the studio with details on this. Suji? Todd, officials at ADL Center for Technology and Society surveyed about 2,000 gamers representative of the gaming population nationally. And analysts tell me that the trend is very disturbing. We've seen an increase in the spread of uh, extremist white supremacist ideologies in online multiplayer games. A recent survey shows the number of adults exposed to this speech online has more than doubled. Experts say 34% of gamers also said they experienced anti-Semitic speech. In addition to Jewish people being targeted uh, for their identity, we're also seeing people who are uh, denying or, or saying the Holocaust didn't happen or wasn't as bad as people say. Analysts say 66% of gamers 13 to 17 years old reported they experienced harassment last year. And 30% of young people said they always hide their identities when playing. I just usually don't talk back to them or I just mute the whole lobby or something there's like there's ways out of it now you can mute the whole lobby you can mute people like you don't have to put up with it you can turn the chat off the companies need to do something to change the norms in these spaces around enforcement and so the, unless you report to the platform they don't know that things are happening as a working mom i own a real estate company my boys are nine and seven they play video games it's just the reality of the times and um as a mom, I feel that we've had, we have more control than ever as parents to monitor their online activities. Experts say while the gaming world can be a positive place for people to make friends and find a sense of community, it can also become a dark space quickly. You feel safe in an online game space. Uh, you can use the safety that you feel to stand up for others who may feel less safe in that space. Tremendous opportunity for me to educate them on what you say online matters. We live in a digital age. Do not put anything in writing that you wouldn't say to someone else's face. Don't hide behind the keyboard. Don't hide behind the screen. Like those are real concepts. And officials encourage you to report to the gaming company if you have been a victim or heard hate speech while online. You can also report to the ADL. In the studio, I'm Suji Nam for Delhi PBF 25 News.